Yo, what's good, YouTube? It is Viola. I am back with another video. And today's video, I want to talk to you guys something. You know, I want I want to talk about something. Okay, I want to make a short discussion about whether this game is silent or not. And by silent, I mean dead. Okay. Now, for those of you that has been slapped upon this um, the last day or so, I heard a few people, not a lot, but. Most people was talking about how 2K22 is dead already at this point. And well, only around 13 days left for Season 2 until Season 3. And guys, if you guys don't know, I'll... Matter of fact, I'll save that for myself. I don't want to talk about it. But I, I was going to say when Season 3 actually starts. But I'm going to keep that a secret just because, okay? Now, before we get into the video for real, this is what I'm talking about right here, okay? So, as you guys can see, you will see in the gameplay what defense, when it comes to defense, this would be my defensive settings for the moment being, so therefore, I have to change it here and there, and this is obviously an old clip that I used before. I used this clip before in the video, but I decided why not save that. Anyways, here we are at a different time, so check this out. Basically, what's going on is that NBA 2K22 would or not wood, but it could be dying. Okay, and like I said, this is why I'm saying right here, multiple people, like I said, not a lot, but I noticed that some people were saying that 2K22 is starting to die at this point because due to the fact that things were barely even changing, okay? And things were barely changing throughout the game, throughout the recent patch and everything like that. Well, there wasn't a patch today as I'm recording, but the last patch we was given, things have changed so not a lot but why i mean change i mean the game is different now okay so in the major release of the patch they didn't change a lot of stuff in the park here and there it's just that the game is quote unquote exploited or something like that or the game has been played glitchy so therefore people can play glitchy as well while they're playing the game at the same time it's like bro what is going on with 2k right now 2k is now heading towards a slight downward spiral at this time of age due to how many times they have been falling throughout the same they, they literally got to the same situation before numerous times throughout the years okay i'm telling you right now i've been playing 2k since forever okay but i the only few times i've been taking 2k serious was back then in 17 back then in 19 and 2k 20 and i noticed exactly how 2k has been changing on us a lot and the way people are playing the game has also changed it but it made it even worse a little bit okay and that is obviously what i wanted to discuss with you guys about now if you guys have at least one thought in your mind just one idea let me know down below in the comment section what do you guys think made 2k22 worse as of right now as we speak or as i'm speaking specifically to you guys now let me tell you guys something i myself is more of a half casual and half competitive player so therefore i'm looking on both sides on the of the 2k community right now because due to the fact that if it's an easy game you know it's easy light work game that i'll play as a casual but if i had to get to some intense games with some comp players and that's why i get competitive okay i'm not joining either side i'm on both sides of this direction okay in the entire community but at the same time though i've been through a lot ever since i started playing this game but the only times and at least the last few times I have been taking this game serious besides this. Well, I didn't take the game that serious. But the last time I've taken the game serious for real, for real, was back in 17, 2K17, 2K19, and 2K20. That is, those were the years where I got a little serious, okay? But 2K20, I started taking the game a lot serious because everybody went to the comp side. Everybody changed when the game first came out like two years ago back when 2k21 first dropped and then a couple of patches later everybody changed so i was like you know what i might as well take this game serious since i have been you know falling short throughout my grind and everything like that if you would consider it that so therefore i had, I had to take the game serious i have no choice okay if they want to take the game serious fine i'll do the same thing as they do i'll try even harder than i used to i'll try harder this time 
okay that was my mentality on 2k20 2k21 i didn't take the game serious at all i barely tried to park as soon as i got this ps5 system and then as soon as i got 2k21 i hopped straight into the park i bought my old player back my first ever build i created since the game came out simply for a good cost and uh, as soon as i got into the park things were different okay the game wasn't the same as i thought it would be even when I have yet to play when the game first came out and stuff like that. And it's been a 50-50% uh, chance of me just getting into the 2K grind, okay? And, you know, at that point, I was like, you know, what? I'm just going to hand, I'm just going to go ahead and just give up on 2K21. And entering 2K22, I was barely even good, okay? I did have lots of dubs, but I also took a couple of L's, okay? I'm not scared to admit it. You might think I'm just a bum because I take lots of losses and not playing with everybody. Well, first of all, I don't need no one. And here's the thing. I saw this one comment on my past video saying that, oh, I'm so angry because I don't have any friends to play with. And I obviously take losses for a reason. No, first of all, I don't have anybody to play with i i got zero percent people on my fence list i got rid of everybody that haven't been active for over a year so the only person on the fence list is nothing but me is no one else but me and secondly uh, the reason why i only play with randoms is because i literally want to get games going even if it's for content i have to get something going on okay i just can't play the game and not do park at the same time because what's really the point of playing park if you're not just gonna play park at all He's just gonna walk around the courts and look for a game and not play it. That's not me, okay? And number three, most importantly, I can do this on my own if I have to, okay? I'm not scared to admit it, nor am I afraid to admit it, okay? I mean what I say. But back to the news about TK22 being slightly dead right now. See, I got this deal right here, but look at this. Check this out. How come I got bumped into that dude and he stole the ball from me? And look at me. I'm playing as much tight defense as I possibly can, pause. I'm literally playing as tightly as I can, okay? He got the screen over me. That's cool. He got another screen, and guess what? He missed that shot, right? But how is it possible for me to get... How is it possible for him to get the bump steal and not me? I was literally playing defense. Matter of fact, I'll show you a clip right now. Look closely into this clip right here. These two clips. This is an example of playing defense, okay? Look, this dude did a complete crossover, right? And that was almost a bump steal. I even if I didn't reach for it, he would have been dropped that. And look at this right here. A left-right cheese. The left-right cheese. This is what I'm talking about, bro. And I was like behind him. I if I reached for that ball, that would have been an easy steal. But no, 2K decided not to give me credit for my defense. I was literally playing the hardest clamps that I could. And that is still not a steal ball. But he can do that left-right cheese. And the left-right cheese. Let's, let's get into that, okay? The left-right cheese is basically one of the most, if not exploited, glitchiest crossover moves in the game right now. That people, like, some people are complaining about. But for those that are enjoying doing that, obviously have no problem with it. Me, I wouldn't be either, okay? I don't want to get involved to saying which dribble move is the best, which dribble move is the worst, which dribble move is glitchy, which one isn't. I'm not into those type of conversations, okay? Because I do not want to get involved in it whatsoever because I know lots of people be super sensitive when it comes to defending your opinion over dribble moves, over nothing but a complete pair of dribble move animations. Like, what type of sense did that make? None, exactly. And one more thing, parks are also dead too, a little bit. I haven't played twos nor threes in a while. And I also have played one mode in the park though. That's going to be a secret. That'll be a different video if you don't mind. So, guys, I don't know about 2K at this point. To tell you the truth, I haven't been playing 2K recently in like a few days because I really haven't been playing it like that. I have other stuff to do and focus on. But I'm back at it for now for the moment being. So I got another video coming after this later on today or tonight. Whatever I feel like posting it. But guess what? Let me know down below in the comment section about your opinion on how TK22 is right now. The current state of TK22 and what the game is feeling like, what it's looking like, and how it's, you know, what it is right now. Okay? Either way, it's been viral and I'll be back soon. I'm out here.